Hey everybody, Al Escobedo here with CrossbowExpert.com. Today we got the new for 2019 Excalibur Bulldog 440. We're going to open up the box, show you guys how it's going to ship from the factory. Let's check it out. So at the Bulldog 440, 440 feet per second. Um, at $13.99 it's going to include your crank. It's got the Pro ACP trigger. It's got Excalibur's new Pro Flight arrows going to be their straightest arrows for high performance, high quality accuracy. It's going to come with four arrows, your quiver, pretty much everything you'll need to get started. But don't forget, we will have our Crossbow Expert Pro package that will include a little bit more. So let's just check out what's in the factory box here. So it's going to come with your arrows and your quiver right on top there. Charger EXT crank. Front end. Stock assembly. Your goodies, your warranty registration, and your sticker. Owner's manual, quiver bracket, and all your little assembly parts. And last but not least, the scope. This is a new scope for 2019. This is going to be the Excalibur Tact 100. Pull this out of the package so you guys can take a look at it real quick here. In with your scope. Don't forget, you're going to have the scope owner's manual, a cleaning cloth, and an Allen wrench for installing. And there she is, the TAC 100. Like I said, uh, basically it's it's a TAC zone scope with beefed up speeds going up to 450 now and then it's got the 100 yard reticles. So for today's video, we're just gonna assemble the factory package and do a little bit of playing around with that. So here we go. All right, so I got the new Bulldog 440 in my handy dandy vise here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble. Basically, you just need a few tools. You need an Allen wrench set, which if you're going through the package of hardware, it will include pretty much most loose Allens that you need. But if you just have one little set with all the different sizes, you'll be good to go. You need a 3 8 wrench and a flat screwdriver. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mount the scope. Basically what we do with our scopes here is we put the level on our rail. This particular scope is one of the ones that Excalibur will be shipping with the rings already installed. So really we just set that on there like so. And what I like to do, even though that they come from the factory with the rings already installed, I like to put the level right on the scope and make sure that that lines up. So that's actually a little bit off. I'm going to tighten up my rings and then I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the scope so that it's level with the rest of the bow. Come around here real quick. You got your flathead screws, that's what tightens down. Obviously, you got a lot of adjustment on your scope rail. This is basically just from the fact that I put a bunch of these together. Kind of have a rough idea where I'm going to start for eye relief, but there's always fine tuning once you get out onto the range. This is really just to get it locked on there and be able to square and level everything up. So now that we got that on there, Scopes are generally going to be a metric screw, so I'm going to actually just use the screw they include with the scope. I'm not going to go crazy, I'm just going to break this loose here. Just enough so I can move it. There's a little rubber padding that's inside those rings that kind of holds it tight, so you kind of got to break it loose to begin with. So we got the two levels on there. I'm just going to square up this scope level right on top of the turret cap. Right there looks about perfect. Now we're going to just tighten these. And your scope is set and mounted. 
The next part, part I like to do is actually going to be the quiver bracket. Um, right on the quiver bracket here, it shows you if you're a right-handed or left-handed shooter which way it will face on your riser or on your rail. Um, we're right-handed, so we're going to put with the arrow pointing towards the front of the bow. It's going to be on the on your right-hand side of the bow. It's easiest if you take the quiver bracket, install this to your quiver mount before you put it on the bow. Real quick, I'll show you a little trick with that. The quiver bracket, the quiver will only slide in one way. So you look at that, and you line that up. So you always want this groove, where it's wider, or where it's open at the top, you want that facing forward in the bow, so that when you slide it in, your arrows aren't sticking the wrong way. So then using our quiver bracket, our mounting bracket that we know is going to be right hand and go this way, I just set that on there so you know that you're going to be facing the right way. Take your pan head screws here, include it in your quiver bracket, slide those through there, then in with your other assembly parts. You got two acorn nuts. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get the right size Allen. Stick that back through there like so. Put my Allen on the end. Your acorn nut goes on the back there. Just like that. I'm just gonna get both the acorn nuts started here, like so. We're gonna tighten it down. That's where the 3 8 wrench comes in handy. So now we got the quiver bracket assembled. I'm going to flip the bow over in my vise and I'll show you the rest of the assembly parts. So now that I got the bow flipped upside down here, now we're to the, the bread and butter of the whole deal. First I'm going to throw on the front end before I mount the quiver bracket real quick. You just got the one bolt here. You got the bolt and the washer here. All you're going to do is you're going to take this here, you got two machined out spots that will lock it into place, just slide that up through there until you can find it so that it lines up with the hole, set right on there, thread that in, and I grab the only Allen set we have in the store that doesn't have the big one. So I'm just going to grab the one that comes included with the bow. I'm just going to snug down that front end. Just like that. Next we're going to go back to the quiver, the quiver bracket here. Looking at the bottom of the bracket again, right hand forward, left hand back. You got two, two threaded holes already machined in the, into the rail here that we're going to put that in. So again, we're setting it up for a right-handed shooter. So just look at the arrow, arrow towards the front of the bow. Now you got your two cap head screws. Again, come with the quiver bracket. Let's get those in there, just get them started. You got your quiver bracket mounted up real quick. Included is going to be your four field points. 100 grains is what this 440 is going to be shipping with. I know some of the old bows in the past shipped with 150 grains and we'll make a video kind of go getting into depth um, what's going on with that or what the options are with that. All the bows that Excalibur specs out is at 350 grains so that's how they're getting their speed. That's the finished arrow weight. Um, so that's using the 100 grain point. That is the minimum required arrow weight that you can use out of these crossbows to avoid having issues. But the big thing that we found is when it comes to broadhead flight, the additional weight can be pretty crucial, especially as you get up there in speeds. Again, these are the new for 2019 Pro Flight with the Bulldog, with the Bulldog 440. They're going to be an 18 inch arrow. Like I said, with 100 grains, they're going to be at that 350 grain total arrow weight mark. Um, they're a 001 straightness made by Black Eagle Arrows. It's an extremely high quality arrow. Still comes with the standard rear insert knock style that we're used to with the Excalibur bows. 
with this bow particularly 440 feet per second it's probably not a bad idea to get yourself that t-handle arrow puller that'll screw right into the back of there pull your arrows out because i am sure this thing's going to bury them in the target so we got our field points on not real exciting not real challenging there we're just going to throw these all in the quiver it's a four arrow quiver and the mossy oak backcountry pattern this bow is that we're working on is the backcountry camel and then they also offer this 440 in a black version price is still the same $13.99 tighten that and you're just about ready to start shooting I'm gonna flip this bow over one more time in my vise and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna install the Charger EXT crank all right so now we got the included Charger EXT silent crank that comes with the package for the Bulldog 440. You're going to be dealing with extremely high draw weight, so you're not going to want to cock this one by hand, so that's why they're just including it with the crank. I'm going to open the package up real quick and I'll show you exactly what's all included. You got your crank handle, the crank itself. Use owner's manual, an Allen wrench, and your fail safe strap. The fail safe strap is pretty important, especially when you get into these high poundage bows. Basically, the main reason they have it is for uncocking the crossbow. Just slide that right onto the crank handle there. Strap it onto your hand. And that way, if when you're decocking the bow, if it slips out of your hand, you're not going to hurt anything. It'll stay attached to your wrist. All right, so basically all we're going to do here is we pull out that knob, slide out your bracket. And this is the bracket that goes onto the bow itself to, to mount that crank to the back of the bow. Allen screws are already going to be in there. And then the nice thing that Excalibur has done on this piece of machined aluminum um, is they've marked it left up right up so then that way as long as you pay attention to that you shouldn't have any problems getting it mounted on the bow the correct way unless we got the right hand up so what I'm going to do is take that line that up with these two holes that are already put in the stock here slide that right in there take the left hand up make sure I keep that pointed up I'm going to set that right there get my screws started Got those nice and tight. Got our charger crank. It's got your safety warning on there, which I'm gonna pull right off here because we're gonna get to shooting this bow. And all you're gonna do to put the crank on the bow is pull that knob back out, slide it, and it locks right on there. You're ready to go. Now for some guys, some guys will wanna take that off. Like I said, real simple to do. You pull the knob out, slide it up, and it's off your bow, throw it in your pack, throw it in your pocket. Um, however you want to do it, but the way that this mounts there are ways that you can actually leave it on there and shoot with the bow It's just a personal preference thing um, Stick with us. We're gonna get this bow out on the range. We're gonna get it behind the chronograph We're gonna do a lot more videos a lot more testing. It's the Bulldog 440 new for 2019 coming from Excalibur $13.99 for the factory package four arrows four arrow quiver the new tact 100 scope the Charger EXT crank, and you can find it at crossbowexpert.com.